Well, hi, this is Benjamin Riley with Deans for Impact, and I am very pleased to be talking today with Dean Stephen Atwater from the University of Alaska. Thank you, Stephen, for joining me today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Happy to be here. So I think the last time we talked directly was back in April when the pandemic was first unfolding. I'm curious how it's playing out right now in Alaska and, and what challenges, if any, it's posing for you in the world of teacher education. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately it's playing out in the wrong direction. At the end of May, everything got relaxed and predictably the cases started to go up. I'm wondering if this past year, as a fellow in our Impact Academy, I wonder if anything that's happened through that is, has helped you to adapt to some of these challenges. Yeah, it actually was really beneficial for me. It, it helped me and it helped our faculty with our work uh, to take on the challenges of the pandemic. You know, we make the distinction in during the Dean's for Impact Academy of adaptive work and technical work. And when we started to work on our adaptive challenge, it gelled the faculty in a way that to help them in turn be positioned to respond to what was coming with the pandemic. And we had to figure out how we're going to do supervision, how are we going to do the clinical observations, how are we going to do all those pieces that suddenly aren't available to us. And I think that our prior work that we had done uh, really positioned us or helped us to get ready for that. Another thing that we've talked about has been your interest in the work that Dean Trimback has done around learning science and bringing that into teacher preparation. Tell me a little bit about what potential you see with that. What I see with learning science is a way for our candidates to really dig into how students learn. Learning science is going to help us to really focus down and refine what we're doing with helping the candidates understand how best to teach and really how to really determine whether or not what they're doing is hitting the mark. Uh, we have a, a varied group of students that we're preparing our candidates for, and we want to make sure that they have a foundation to draw from. I'm glad you brought that up because I think I think the stereotype of Alaska may be that it's not a super diverse place, but in fact, there is extraordinary diversity. As you mentioned, you've got a large indigenous population in the cities. So I'm curious how you're thinking about that and whether that's affecting your programs right now. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we're really adamant that we ensure that all of our candidates fully understand the Alaska way of knowing, as well as the historical context of Alaska Natives in, in the Western schooling. There's a lot of assumptions that Alaska Native kids do poorly, and therefore they're just not maybe as up to speed as they need to be, and et cetera. But it's, it's a very complicated situation, so we spend a lot of time on that. Well, I've been closing all of these conversations with a wild card, and it certainly seems to those of us in the lower 48 that everyone in Alaska has a reality TV show or has been on one. And I'm curious, <laughs> I'm curious if folks, what folks in Alaska think about the fact that there's so many reality TV shows about Alaska and Alaskans. Yeah, most of them they laugh at. And the one that the great example that I have is one in which they make a great deal about the need to, to get the meat for the winter. And I know exactly where that family lives. And literally they could drive to Safeway in about 20 minutes. <laughs> so, <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, you're letting the secret out, but thanks, thanks, uh, yeah. thanks a lot, Stephen, for joining me today. My pleasure, Ben. Thanks.